Hi, this is Cathy Reed at Cathy Reed Art. I'm here to share my painting behind me, which is called Battersea Park for Saturday Night Live Art Shows. I thank you for joining me today and I hope you enjoy the picture. It's a picture I created of Battersea Park and there's a memorial, not a memorial, a, um, what's the word? A festival garden, that's better. There's uh, festival gardens that were created for the Festival of Britain in 1951. And these sculptures and these ponds were put in as part of it. And I happened to walk through there earlier this year when I was off to the Affordable Art Fair at Battersea Park. And um, I just thought it was such a lovely setting. I was fascinated by these sculptures, by this little flame thing that are going on here. And the reflections, it was a very still day, it was a very cold but bright February day. and. So I took the reference picture for this and this is the resulting painting. It's very different for me. I don't tend to go for quite such um, organic scenes, but I just like the way the light shone behind them. And I've tried to get that depth of colour down here. And I'm going to take you close in a minute, but I thought, so, it's your nose now. I thought before I do that, I'm going to show you something slightly different. Normally when I do these paintings, you see these areas here, I'll bring it in. So you can see that area there. Ooh, yeah. That's where the salt effects happen. And so I thought I'd show you what I do with those, the salt that's left over. I was at a, a demonstration at Claydon once and I found I had all this salt and they're quite keen on conservation there. And I didn't really want to just scatter lots of salt from a painting all over the ground. But I had a water pot with me and I, it was a jam jar. And so what I did was I put the salt in there. And then after a while, I realized I was getting fascinating layers. And so I've kept it. And this is, this is the pot that's now finished. This is that very pot. And you see there's lots of lovely colors in there. Unfortunately, it's reflecting the light. Let me just turn that light off a minute. It's going to be a bit darker, but then you can see. There we go. So you can see all those colours. If I can leave that light off, it's less of a problem. Although it is a bit dark. So that's the first one I've done. And I'm now on my second one. And my second one's got some really bright colours in. You look at that. I'm loving this little bit of orange there and a little bit of yellow. Lots of greens and blues, a bit of a pastely colour there. And it's different on all sides. And I try and remember which paintings that I've done that are part of it, but uh, after a while I forget. That's part of the commission I've just created called um, of Oxford Art um, Wine Cafe. And yes, who knows about the rest of them now. It's fun trying to remember. Right, I'm going to turn that light on because I think I do need it. That's better. It's got a bit brighter now. Now I'll take you in to have a closer look at the picture. I might have to stop this and turn it round now, so uh, we'll stop there. And a nice close-up, um, far out shot even, get my words right, and let's take you in close so you can see the painting. So those are those reflections I was talking about. And unfortunately the camera is now casting shadows, that's better. And if you see here, we've got some gold highlights on these lovely flame things. And what else have we got up here? That's the uh, salt effect I was talking about. Let's get it in focus. And there's a lot of foliage around there. Behind that, there's a street. This is actually looking towards the Thames. So that's actually Chelsea on the other bank of the Thames. The distance is hard to see in such a scale. And here we've got the reflections again. And I was having fun with those lily pads. And I have no idea what these round things are, but they're very, very interesting. And we've got a flagpole right up the middle. There are quite a few flagpoles and shadows. Let me just do it that way around and then I don't get a shadow on the picture. There we go. Final shot out with my candles. And my fairy lights, you can tell this is near Christmas. Hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching. If you'd like to join me again next week, I might be doing one this week. I might do a Christmassy themed one. 
and I'd like to finish with a little verse of we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Glad tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next week and in the new year. And if you'd like to follow more of my art adventures on Saturday Night Live art shows or just my art creation in general, check out my website, kathyreadart.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.